Christmas duo, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you suggested it. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice to do something for the children. Chris said he was going to come by in a little while. Terrific. He should have some very original suggestions. Oh, you know he will. <laughs> Did you happen to see anybody at the hospital visiting Brandon from my family? Yeah, your mom and dad and Mason. Did you get to talk to Mason? Yeah, I talked to him. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. No, it's all right. I just uh, don't want to think about him right now. I was hoping maybe the holiday spirit would have some effect on the two of you. Well, actually, it has on me. But perhaps not in the way that you mean. See, I've realized that I don't need Mason. And I don't really need to run away for the holidays in order to have a nice Christmas. I had no idea you were thinking of going away. Well, I'm not now. See, Samantha and I are going to stay here and have it with our friends and Agatha. And I think it's great because I can help out with the kids here and it'll, it'll have me doing something for somebody else, which is nice because I've been way too self-involved lately. Julie, you always do things for other people. That well, keeps me from feeling like a total washout. This ain't a bad tree. No, it's not. Don't you wish that you could just bottle up Christmas feelings so you could spread them out throughout the year? Oh, well, man, it's violent. There's no doubt about that. Are you sure you're not hurt? No, I'm fine. It's a big show on his part. I don't feel any remorse about it, but uh, maybe he's not capable of that. Well, what is he capable of? Hard to guess. A guy obviously needs a lot of psychological help. I'm not sure he'll accept it. Michael, is this the man we're looking for? No. Jack has no awareness, whatever, of the night that the man came to the chapel and knocked me out. Of course, that could be a cover, right? Perhaps. But the man who raped Eden has been very calculating. He's been very skillful in covering his tracks. And he's so obsessed. Uh, Jack just doesn't fit that profile. I know you want this guy, Cruz. I'm sorry. No, no, don't apologize. I'm, I'm with, with, I'm with you. I mean, I, I, I think he's a reasonably intelligent man, but he's obviously burned himself out somewhere along the line. I, there's no way I'm going to believe that he masterminded the stunts that have informed this reign of terror. He may have stolen some video equipment, but I can't conjure the man slipping unnoticed in and out of the, the hospital, the Capwell Hotel, in my house. No. Not to mention he would have had to uh, get to and from those places on foot. Quickly, yeah, and he doesn't move as well as the guys on the chapel that night. Yeah, you've worked with people like this, people who don't have homes. I mean, it's got to be difficult for him to find a place to take a shower and keep his clothes clean, right? That's very difficult. And, Michael, what's the first thing you notice about the man when you walk into a room where he is? He smells. That's right. He stinks to high heaven. I can't tell you how many women I've spoken to who have survived something as horrible as, in a, as a rape, uh, and they, they always talk about the guy was drinking or he, he smelled bad or his something about him, right. something physical and tangible. No one who, who survived any of these attacks has said anything about that, which means he had to find a shower, he would have had to find a place to keep his dark suit clean right. and coordinate all this with the times that he was going to find these women alone. No way. Seems impossible. Seems damn impossible. So we're looking for a guy who's got enough cash for a place to live, a car, maybe to buy some of the video equipment. Yeah, I'm not saying he's rich, but he is not Jack Rossen or any man who lives on the streets. All right, what about the evidence against Jack? Well, except for the assault in the chapel, it's basically circumstantial. If Julie wants to file charges on that, she's gonna. But, I mean, if he is the guy that Zack saw outside Bentley's apartment, that's not a crime. And we haven't found anyone who could place him at the scene of any other crime. Yeah, but his shoes place him there. Yeah, the shoes. There's no doubt that those shoes belong to the man we're looking for. Those, they made the print that was outside the, uh, the on-call room at the hospital. But Jack Rossen must spend how many hours each week going through trash bins, looking for stuff to scavenge? So he found the shoes and he stole them. Uh, that doesn't make him the guy. I'm going to have forensics look at those shoes. Maybe we'll be able to take something off of them. And, and, and I know what they're going to tell me, but I'm going to have a psychiatrist come in and do a workup on the guy just to, just to be safe. And to play it, Joy. Not to mention. How do you take your coffee? Black. You know, when I'm talking to you about this kind of stuff, you sound a lot more like a cop than a priest. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess being around the station brings back a lot of memories. You miss it? Oh, sometimes, the excitement, the 
feeling of camaraderie, knowing you got a partner, somebody you can count on. Don't forget the uh, locker room humor. <laughs> no, I got to admit, uh, I don't hear the same jokes at the rectory that I do at the squad room. Well, I should hope not. Sometimes a priesthood can seem a little lonely. You ever attempted to come back? No. No, I'm a left as a detective who's stepping up here. I get great pleasure out of the ways I can help people as a priest. That's too bad we can't clone you. I think this department <laughs> would be the better for you. Yeah, thanks. Serving as a priest has really taught me a lot about myself, though. It's been real good for me. It's, it's the most important thing in my life. I couldn't give it up. I can see why you wanted to help with this party. You look like a little kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> well, next year, we're going to have two kids of our own around the Christmas tree. Yeah, I can barely wait to see Chip's eyes when he sees what Santa brought him. I can't deal with this. Here, give it to me. You know, oh, you know, that's a great idea. We should bring him here to see the tree. He'll love it. Oh, yeah, he'll he'll take every ornament off the lower half of the branches and eat it. You're right. <laughs> Do we have any more to hang? No, that's it. You did a job with this. Yeah, that's dead. Give me that. That's dead. What's next? Well, the tree's up and decorated. The holly's all around the room. Julie and Michael are in the other room wrapping presents. Great. What time is Santa going to arrive to pass him out? Oh, no. What? Santa, we, we didn't get a Santa. We promised the kids. Oh, well, not to worry. What do you mean, not to worry? Well, I know the perfect person for the job. You do? Is he available? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, let's go call him now, just to make sure he's well, available. Well, wait, no, wait, he's available because uh, you're looking at him. You? Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to play Santa for kids. You know, I like that. Yeah, little padding. I just put it into that red suit. I got a, the beard and the hair matching the same color. Sweetheart, I... I really, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I really think that you're great, but I, I don't think you're my idea of Santa Claus. Well, that's just because you know me. The kids, the kids will love me. It's like, Merry Christmas. Were you a good little girl this year, little girl? Oh, oh, oh. You know, it's, uh, it's terrible. No, it, it develops. I, I swear, I, I, I just need to get into the thing. Merry Christmas. Why don't you... Come up here on my knee and uh, give old Santa a cookie. What do you think? Julia? Yeah, right here. What? Hi. I think we have kind of an emergency situation oh, here. Eden. Remember that guy that you hired last year who was so terrific as Santa Claus? Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, well, do you think we could get him this year for the kids? I don't think so. He's busy with toys. You and don't things. need no. him. You don't need anybody else. Believe me. Do you, do you know somebody else? Julia, there's nothing to worry about. Yes, I know somebody else. Me. I'll call Chris. I'm sure that he'll come right over because it's an important. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is. I, you're not going to let me try out. I love you a lot. I mean, you're you're a great guy. Kids are nuts about you, but you and being Santa, it doesn't work for me. I don't believe this. I'll be right back. Wait, no, wait a second. No, no, the least I can do is deliver this man to whom I don't measure up. I mean, maybe I'll learn something. Maybe, you know, what has he got that I don't have? What, does he have his own sleigh or something? <laughs> yeah, he does. It's kind of far. It's not a short trip. Oh, that's okay. Uh, he and I, we were talking about maybe taking a break from this anyway. <laughs> I'll give him, I'll give you his address. Thanks. You know, I may just get a job playing Santa someplace else so that I could prove to you guys that you're making a mistake here. I can do this job. Sure you can. <laughs> well, let's go, huh? Uh, you're gonna need directions. That would be nice. No, no. That's okay. We can... We can find our way. <laughs> Big mistake you're making. <laughs> then one frosty Christmas night. Foggy's what? Santa came Put a stocking in it, dear, say. would you please? Chestnuts okay, so roasting. I don't understand how you managed to find this place. Yeah. Well, <sighs> I, I don't know how I found it. I just, I had a, a sense, you know. I had a, I just, this, like the car was driving itself. 
So have you forgiven me, huh? I don't think so. You know, you were... No, you were really cold about my performance, I thought. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Neither you or Julia is sorry. Have a little... Looks like you might get stuck with me after all, though, pal, because this cool Santa Claus doesn't seem to be here. Well, are you sure we have the right place? I mean, maybe we have the wrong address. Oh, no. Take a look at this. This is definitely the right address.